All right, we've made it through almost our first week of school. Uh, I wanted to kind of update our video and let you know kind of what we've been working on and what you can expect uh, the rest of this week and uh, some upcoming events as well. Uh, the first thing I wanted to make sure I let you know about was Parent Information Night will be August 29th, uh, starts at 630, and that will be a chance for all the parents to come here to the classroom and uh, hear about what our year is going to look like in fourth grade, what your child will study, uh, what will be expected of your child, what my responsibilities are as his or her teacher. So I'll kind of be talking about uh, units of study, um, routines for the classroom, uh, things that you can do at home to help you or to help your child uh, with anything related to school. Um, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to come that night. I know that there are lots of other things going on. Um, I certainly understand that there are sports schedules and you know all this other craziness of life. I totally get it. Um, I would really, really encourage you to come. It will be, um, it will answer probably a lot of questions that you might have uh, about our day-to-day -day routine, uh, you know, homework. Uh, expectations, just a lot of different things that maybe you're wondering about because it's a new school year. Um, spelling always comes up about you know the way spelling works in fourth grade. Uh, there are some different things going on in fourth grade with respects to spelling and so I'll be answer, able, able to answer a lot of those questions for you uh, if you're able to come uh, but it'll also it'll be a great chance for you to see what your child's fourth grade year is going to look like so um, uh, next Thursday August 29th uh, at 6.30 here in the classroom, and um, I would highly encourage all of you to uh, please come if you at all can. Uh, let's see, in reading um, this past week, we have started setting expectations for reading time. Uh, we've talked about how to make good book choices. We've talked about the difference between easy, just right, challenging, which is not um, a new concept, but as the kids get older, they, you know, and they kind of make more of a transition into more difficult text and chapter books, um, finding that just right book uh, is looks a little bit different as they get older. And so certainly with AR expectations too are a, are a little bit different than at HES, um, it's kind of a, a good chance for us to kind of sit down and look at all those expectations uh, for reading time. So we've been doing some of that. Today we talked about <clears throat> uh, how, uh, reasons why we abandon books. And so we made a list together about uh, reasons why we have ever quit reading a book, and we all admitted, including me, that we've uh, that we've all quit a book at some point or another. And so we kind of talked about some reasons uh, why we do that. And I kind of encourage the kids, <coughs> excuse me, that even though you might want to stop reading a book because it's boring, to kind of push through it, you'll eventually get to that good part. And so we had some of those conversations. So. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we will talk about how to keep a record of your reading, and that's where I'm going to talk about um, uh, our book logs that they keep in their binder, uh, as well as writing down their thinking as they read. There are several different options there, so we'll kind of talk about that. Uh, we'll also talk about uh, AR expectations. The main difference that I'll talk to the kids about is that their percentage on their reading tests in AR after they, after they are done reading a book, their percentage counts now that they're um, getting older and they're and at McEwen we count that percentage and so to make their monthly goal in AR they need to make their points goal first of all and that will be set by uh, a reading test that they take and they also have to have 85 percent average that month to make their goal so they need two things in order to make their AR goal every month. Uh, the percentage is what is new for the kids is that um, they now have to do well on those AR tests in order to make their goal. And so they have to make their points and they're at least 85 85% or higher average uh, per month to make their monthly goal. Um, so that will be something that we will talk about on Friday with the kids. I'll actually give them, um, if you get 8 out of 10, it's 80%. If you get 4 out of 5, then what that percentage is. So I will actually go through that with all the kids and we'll make a chart to hang in the classroom so that they are aware that this percentage is now something that will count towards their goals. So that's something that the first month we really try to um, set and so that the kids can understand that and kind of get used to it. So that'll be something we'll go over. 
Uh, writing. We have been working on My Teacher's Secret Life. I read a book to the kids last week. I think I talked about this in my last video. The kids have been working on some creative writing about what they think my secret life could be. They're creating a secret life for me. And so I've really enjoyed hearing some of the ideas. I've been a ninja. I've been uh, teleported in my uh, corner closet to another world. Uh, I've been, uh, th there's been a secret tunnel, I think, under the trash can. Um, so there's been, you know, some pretty creative ideas uh, for, their, for their secret life. So we're going to be finishing up those on Wednesday. Uh, whatever the kids don't get done, excuse me, whatever the kids don't get done on Wednesday will be homework. And so you can expect that if it's not turned in, that we'll make a note in their planner that they need to get that finished for homework. The rest of the week in writing, we'll be focusing on the six trait uh, writing process. We'll talk about uh, where ideas come from for writing. We'll talk about organization. And I think the last one is voice. And so this will be kind of an introduction to the six traits uh, for writing, which we will also review as the year goes on. So it won't be something that uh, I will expect the kids to memorize and use all year long. It will be a developing process, but this will be kind of an introduction for them. Uh, this week is a week B, which means that they have an extra specials after their regular specials. So today, for example, is a week B uh, computer lab day. And so today the kids are going to go and take their star test. It's a vocabulary test, and that will give me a, a comfortable just right reading range for AR for them. So by the end of the week, I will be able to have a uh, just right reading range for each student, and I will probably write that in their planner or I'll put it maybe a sticky uh, label in their planner for you to see as well. Um, and so that will be one reading test that they will receive um, at the beginning of the year, and I'll cover that again here in a minute. Uh, math facts, they are taking their pretests for math facts. They've, they're taking three, um, and I will take the best score. It's a review of facts. They get two minutes to do, I think it's 40 problems. And uh, so I'll be um, pretesting them to see where they're at in their math facts. Their twos fact family will start next week. We will start with a pretest, uh, practice all week long, so you can expect a sign off sheet uh, to come home uh, on Monday to study their facts at home. Um, so you can expect also a letter to come home this week. Uh, this talks more specifically about math facts. And um, you can also find a math facts introduction video on my website. Uh, as well, if you're looking to see what that looks like, the number bond practice and, and such. There's a video on my website that you can look at there. Uh, math, we have been, we have started our first unit, which is place value, and um, we have started talking about numbers to 100,000. We will continue that this week and also start talking about uh, expanded form, and then Friday we'll, we're going to try to get to comparing numbers less than uh, 100,000. So I have talked to the kids about a scoring rubric that is brand new to them. Uh, they've, they've not been through this kind of scoring rubric before. It's uh, on a 4-3-2-1 scale and it allows me to see more individually where your child is at uh, on a specific concept in math. So I will be going over that also during Parent Information Night if you're interested in learning more about that rubric so that when I send papers home with a 4321 scale, you know uh, more specifically what that number means for your child. So I highly encourage you again, come to Parent Information Night. I'll be going over that rubric a lot more um, in depth and uh, so that you'll have some knowledge and some schema about how to uh, use that information at home. Uh, spelling, uh, today's Tuesday, so I'm going to, uh, normally I send home the words uh, at the beginning of the week if it kind of falls that way. Uh, but today I'll be sending home Unit 1 words, and I'll also staple in the first three weeks. Uh, I'll staple three weeks at a time in your child's planner, so those can be words that you can study uh, for Unit 1. They won't be all the words, um, but they will be some of the words that your child will see for Unit 1, Units 1 through 3. So um, that is uh, that will be coming home today in their planners. Um, we have library every Thursday. So you can kind of plan ahead for that. Uh, they have a checkout every week, and they, all, they have a library lesson every other week. So they have a, a lesson on week B. Oh, what else? Uh, today they're taking their reading star test, which is a vocabulary test. Next week during computer lab, they will take their SRI test, and that's a uh, vocabulary and comprehension uh, reading test. 
that will be next Tuesday. Um, the Tuesday after that, which I believe, let me look. Um, no, we'll be doing this next week also. SRI is next week. Fluency testing will also be next week, starting the 26th. I'll be giving your child a fluency test. I will listen to them read aloud and see how many words per minute on grade level they can read. And so um, that will be going on next week. The week of, I believe, September 9th was, is when I'll be giving the DRA test. And the DRA test, uh, for those kids that have been in the Harrisonville School District, is nothing new. They've done this test before. It's where they... Uh, it's a very comprehensive test, uh, reading aloud, reading to yourself, writing a summary, answering questions. Uh, it does have some writing involved. They write themselves. Um, that's the most comprehensive and most accurate uh, reading test that I give. So after all the testing is done, um, you will be able to see the results. Um, I'll send home a paper about it. Uh, after all the testing is done, I will also go through it with you at parent-teacher conferences uh, in October. So you can look forward to that as well. Uh, we'll, we will be able to talk about your child's individual um, reading uh, data at that time. Always, if you have questions, call me, email me, ask me. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, anything else? Um, I think that pretty much about covers it uh, for now. I know it's a lot of information, um, but you know, feel free to, uh, to call me or email me with any questions you have. I'll be happy to answer anything. Um, and I just look for a new video next week, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.